The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a new view of the universe. One of its most surprising discoveries is about Pluto, a world once thought to be cold, dead, and unchanging. For many years, Pluto was seen as just a frozen rock at the edge of the solar system. It was too far, too small, and too cold to be of much interest. But that view is now changing. Thanks to Webb's powerful technology, Pluto is being studied like never before. Scientists now believe that Pluto may not be frozen solid, but full of activity. One of the most exciting ideas is that Pluto may have a vast underground ocean. This ocean is believed to lie beneath a thick layer of ice, hidden from view. The ice is mostly nitrogen, and the ocean below may stay liquid because of heat from Pluto's core. That heat likely comes from the natural breakdown of radioactive materials deep inside. If this ocean is real, it changes everything we thought about Pluto. A world so far from the sun might still hold enough warmth to support liquid water. And where there's water, there could be life. Even simple, microscopic life would be a groundbreaking discovery. A heart-shaped area on Pluto, called Sputnik Planitia, has become central to this idea. At first glance, it looks flat and smooth, like a frozen plain. But researchers now believe that slow-moving ice flows beneath the surface are keeping it smooth. This movement shows Pluto is geologically active. That means Pluto isn't frozen in time. Its surface is changing and evolving, driven by heat from the inside. Towering ice mountains stretch across Pluto's surface, some as high as the Rockies on Earth. These were a surprise on such a distant world. This tells us that even far from the Sun, a planet or dwarf planet can still be alive with energy and motion. The possible heat source inside Pluto is likely similar to what powers activity on other icy bodies. Moons like Europa and Enceladus also have underground oceans. All of these places are now considered possible homes for life beyond Earth. Life may not need sunlight, only water, energy, and the right chemicals. This idea has changed what scientists look for when searching for life. It also makes Pluto an important target in the years ahead. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, also adds to the mystery. It's so big that Pluto and Charon orbit each other like a pair. The tug between the two causes internal friction. That friction may help keep Pluto's inner ocean from freezing. Charon itself has deep canyons and strange red patches. These spots might be caused by organic materials moving between Pluto and Charon. This type of chemical exchange between two space bodies is something new. It raises many questions about how they interact and affect each other. These amazing discoveries wouldn't be possible without the James Webb Space Telescope. Its powerful infrared sensors let scientists see through Pluto's icy shell. Using this, they've found signs of organic compounds and unusual heat patterns. These patterns support the idea that Pluto's interior is still warm and active. Even Pluto's thin atmosphere is full of surprises. It contains nitrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide in small amounts. As Pluto orbits the Sun, its atmosphere changes. Sometimes it thickens, and other times it freezes back onto the surface. This strange cycle isn't seen anywhere else in the solar system. It gives scientists a new way to understand how atmospheres work on icy worlds. Another surprising discovery is the reddish material on Pluto and Charon. These areas are rich in tholines, which are complex organic molecules. Tholines are made when sunlight hits methane gas, causing chemical changes. They may be an early step in forming life. If tholines mix with water and the right minerals, they could support the first building blocks of life. That means Pluto may be more than just active, it could be life-friendly. The strongest evidence of this is the possible underground ocean. If it stays warm from radioactive heat, it could last for billions of years. On Earth, deep-sea creatures survive around volcanic vents with no sunlight at all. Life there depends only on heat and chemicals. If Pluto has similar conditions deep below, even simple life forms could be possible. This idea excites scientists and pushes them to learn more. Some are even suggesting future missions to explore Pluto more closely. 
One dream is to send a robotic submarine to explore its underground ocean. Building such a mission would be difficult. But if successful, it could lead to one of the biggest discoveries in space history. Pluto is no longer seen as a frozen leftover from the early solar system. It's now viewed as a world full of activity, mystery, and potential. Even though Pluto doesn't have a magnetic field like Earth, it still interacts with solar wind. These interactions leave behind trails of charged particles. The James Webb Space Telescope has also picked up energy signals that may connect Pluto to the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. This adds even more layers to the mystery of Pluto. Scientists are already talking about future orbiters or landers that could explore it in detail. These spacecraft could study its surface up close, collect samples, and unlock even more secrets. Each new discovery deepens our curiosity. Pluto's transformation from a forgotten ice ball to a dynamic world has captured imaginations worldwide. It's proof that we still have much to learn. Every new mission brings us closer to understanding how life might exist in the most extreme conditions. The journey to explore Pluto is only just beginning. There are still many questions and countless secrets left to uncover. With each discovery, Pluto becomes more important in the story of our solar system. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.